What is up YouTube? It's your boy Grizz and today we're going to be attempting to rebuild the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Steelers are kind of a interesting team. They obviously did make the playoffs so props to them this season. Um, but we have a couple question marks on the squad. Is Kenny Pickett the future? I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> what are we going to do with Najee? Are we going to roll with Jalen Warren? Deontay Johnson or George Pickens? How is Firemuth? I mean, this team has some talent, obviously, like TJ Watt. They still have Cam Hayward. They have Joey Porter Jr., Minka Fitzpatrick, Highsmith, Cole Holcomb. I don't mind seeing him play. But aging talent, a lot of question marks as to who they want to commit their future to. So we're going to kind of answer a lot of those questions here in this rebuild. I think year number one, I think one mistake that I do make is every time in year number one, I make a ton of trades. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set my playbooks. As you guys can see, I'm gonna sim to the midseason. And obviously if it comes down to the point of, hey, we need to re-sign this one guy, we don't have the money for him, then obviously I'm gonna trade somebody. But for right now, we're just gonna roll with um, Dallas's offense. This typically does produce for me. Baltimore's defense. You saw what the lineup looks like. If I can find Baltimore. Earth to Baltimore. There we go. Um, and we'll just pick it up a mid-season and see what we're going to do with our contracts. All right, guys. Here at the mid-season mark, we are 4-2. and two, So definitely not something you would expect for sure. And looking at the contracts, um, we don't have much money. But at the same time, we also don't have anybody that we really want to sign back per se. Um, obviously, you're going to accept Najee Harris's option. I wouldn't mind bringing back Levi Wallace, but obviously it's going to come down to if we can afford him. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to be able to. So I mean, we'll see what kind of what the off season brings. We might bring him back. We might just have to draft some people and look to shed some cap there. All right, guys. So here in year number one, we do go ten and seven, and that is good enough to make the playoffs. Three of the AFC North made the playoffs, um, so we'll be taking on the Indianapolis Colts in round one. Okay, how do we perform? Kenny Pickett does get a depth trade upgrade. Oh my gosh, he actually had a good season. <laughs> Seventh offense and thirteenth defense. Expected the defense to be better than the offense, but Kenny Pickett, forty-four hundred yards, twenty-nine touchdowns, eighteen interceptions. Not great, but not bad at the same time. So we might give him another year, depending on how the quarterback class looks. Najee had a great season. And Deontay Johnson with 1,300 yards and 6 touchdowns. Pickens with 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns. Friar Muth would like to see a little more production out of him. But 672 and 5 is nothing to complain about. And then Allen Robinson. I mean, obviously, he's not the guy that we're going to be looking to keep. Yearly awards here. No Steelers, obviously, there. No Steelers for Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, defensive Player of the Year. TJ Watt does come in at number 8, so we'll take that. I don't think we had any rookies. I mean, Joey Porter Jr. does come in at number 3. And then this Keanu Benton guy for Defensive Rookie of the Year. And I just did realize that we didn't look at the defense. Cole Holcomb had a solid season. And then TJ Watt had 10.5 sacks and 16 TFLs. Cam Hayward had 20 TFLs and 10 sacks. Six and a half out of Ojanobi, four and a half out of Alex Highsmith, so we'll definitely take that. And then interception-wise, Cole Holcomb had four, three out of Joey Porter, and then two out of DeMonte Kazi, and then one out of Alexander. Okay, solid season for sure, nothing to really complain about. Obviously, his first year didn't make any adjustments, nothing like that. But can we take out the Colts in round one? Um, we do, we went 24 to 14. But as if that wasn't tough enough, now we have to go take on the Miami Dolphins in week two. The divisional round. Can we take them? We do. We beat them 21-10. Now we're going to be taking on the Buffalo Bills in the AFC Championship. Definitely don't expect to see the Steelers there. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> we make the Super Bowl in year number one. Are you serious? <laughs> Man, what are the chances of that? I didn't even make any adjustments. The team was just like, yeah, we want to take, we want to win the Super Bowl. How's our roster looking? Did we get any depth trade upgrades? 
So nothing for Kenny Pickett. Pickens does go up to Superstar, so we'll take that 100%. And then defensively, I'm really surprised Holcomb didn't get a death trade upgrade, but Ojanobi did. Joey Porter is only star, which with the amount of interceptions I did, I'm very disappointed in that. So no big upgrade. It's not like anybody went off. But I do want to win a Super Bowl. And we are facing the Dallas Cowboys. And nobody likes the Cowboys. Hopefully you guys watched that game today and got them, watched them get absolutely embarrassed by Jordan Love. But, so, a couple of the offensive stops. Um, like usual. Probably play close to. And then just like the Steelers. See the Oh my gosh, he choked. Let's see this joke. What the heck? 
guys, I scored 14 of your points. What did you do wrong? No. So we do lose the Super Bowl here in year number one, but obviously I didn't do anything to the team to make it, so I'm not terribly upset about it. Would have been nice to go ahead and get a ring, but it is what it is. We at least know we have a Super Bowl caliber team, so let's get right into the half season. Let's see what moves we want to make. Alright guys, here in the offseason, obviously we're going to accept Najee's option. Levi Wallace, you know what, we do have the money to get him. I do want, oh no, he doesn't want to play for us. Yeah, that sucks to be you, I guess. So we are going to have to get another corner. Patrick Peterson also retired, so we're definitely going to need two corners. And then I thought, no, Jalen Warren must be in free agency next offseason. But that's all we're going to do here in the offseason. Obviously, the only thing that we really needed, the only thing that I really wanted to do was bring back Levi Wallace. So now we're pretty depleted at our corner position. So we're definitely going to look at either drafting somebody or signing someone in free agency. But let's get right into it. All right, guys. So here in round one of free agency, we did go after a couple players, um, mainly Okuda, and then I did target Chase Young. And we were his number one team there for a while, so it really sucks we didn't get him. But we did get Jeff Okuda to kind of add to that cornerback spot. And now I'm going to kind of look and see if there's anything else I really want to do. All right, guys. So to round off free agency, obviously we didn't sign anybody huge. But we did bring in Kenneth Murray to be our middle linebackers too. Jeff Okuda and Bryce Hall to be our corner two and corner three. Two guys that are young and will develop nicely. And same thing with Kenneth Murray. So not too mad about that. Now let's go see what we're going to do in the draft. All right, guys, so right away, I know I said I'm not going to make a ton of trades, but I threw Jalen Warren up in the trade finder because I know that we're not going to be keeping him. He won't be wanting to sign back, because typically he doesn't in year number two. So I want to get some value out of him. And for some reason, the Texans are willing to give us Nico Collins. So right there, we just picked up our wide receiver three or wide receiver two, whichever way you look at it. And we shut it off our running back that's not going to want to play. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is look to see what's out there for Cam Hayward. Not because I really want to trade him. Obviously, he performs very well. But more or less because he's a guy that is not in the long term. He's 35 years old. He's probably going to retire within the next year or two. So I want to see what kind of value we can get out of him. And then, again, it doesn't mean that we're going to be guaranteed to trade him. So let's kind of see what's out there. All right, guys. So I did decide to not trade Cam Hayward. He's on an expiring deal. We'll probably just let him walk. But in the draft, we had the 31st pick. Picked up Juan Farr. Going to move him over to free safety. Obviously, you see the stats. Hidden dev trade. Nothing to complain about there in my eyes. All right, guys, and then in the second round, I did take a whiff on a defensive tackle. He has normal depth trade, but hopefully he's a decent overall. But right here, we take Ben Tucker, a center. Obviously, you see the stats, hidden depth trade here in the third round. Nothing to complain about right there. And then let's go ahead and do our fourth pick, and that'll probably be all I'm going to do. I'm probably going to look for a right tackle. Let's see what's out there. What about left Let's move him over. Yikes. For the best. Oh, there we go. There's no guy like you. There we go. I know he's normal death trip, but hopefully he's a high overall. And that's all we're going to do for the draft. All right, guys. Here at the draft recap, Juan Farr is definitely a good one for sure. Same with Car Carlos Smith. We'll definitely take that. Ben Tucker will probably be a starter. But aside from that, that's really all we got. So not too shabby with the draft. We got two usable players for sure. And I think that corner might play. Not 100% sure. So let's head into preseason week number one. Not going to make any trades because I told <coughs> Excuse me. I told you guys I was going to try to lighten up on the trades. Let's set the roster, and we'll get rolling. All right, guys. So I did notice that Allen Robinson does have an $11 million cap hit. Obviously, no one wants that for a guy that's not going to get any playing time. The Texans are a little low on wide receiver room. 
obviously after giving us Nico Collins. So I went and sniped the third round pick off of him. Um, I know I said I'm not going to make many trades, but that's kind of a no-brainer. Obviously, shedding some cash. So let's get into the mid-season and see what we're going to do from there. All right, guys. Here in mid-season, obviously one of the big moves that we want to make is 100% bringing back Deontay Johnson. 786 overall. He says he'd sign today, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever, man. Friar means another guy. Hopefully, they'll just take this. Perfect. We might look to trade Deontay Johnson. James Daniels is another guy that I wouldn't mind having for the remainder of the rebuild. Obviously, old lineman are hard to come by. Okay, hopefully, we do get him back. Um, Nico Collins, 100%. I want you for the whole rebuild. Perfect. Uh, who else we got here? Cam Hayward. We'll probably let him walk. We don't know how he performed, though. Um, okay, he's not a starter. I think he was. Right, right tackle. Yeah, nope. Nope. Look, I'm going to see what I can get for Deontay Johnson just because it doesn't seem like he's going to come back and I want to get value from him. Alright guys, so somehow, some way, the Falcons don't want Drake London. So I threw him up, I threw Deontay Johnson up in the trade finder and they offered me Drake London at the first and then like a second and a third. So I was like, nah, I want to see if I can get another first. It was almost accepted, so I went ahead and tossed it another first. So we're swapping Deontay Johnson, and we got rid of Austin for Drake London, which is pretty well straight across, and we got two first round picks on top of it. Absolute fleece, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. So let's go ahead and set the roster, and then we'll get into the playoffs. Hopefully, we make them. If we don't, it's all right. We've got a lot of cap room coming up. And a lot of potential to make a lot of big moves so we'll see all right guys so at the end of year number two we do go 10 and 7 and again that's actually good enough to take our division as our division was terrible which is very surprising one last two raw i bet that is probably cam hayward yes. oh yeah i was gonna say i was like kitty pickett what do you mean man <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't retire. Sometimes I don't, but I guess we'll see. How do we perform stat-wise? We have the fifth best offense. We'll 100% take that. Kenny Pickett is balling out. And the second best defense. So we should have been better than we were. Kenny Pickett, 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, only 12 interceptions. We'll definitely take that 100%. Najee with 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns. Okay, I see you. 1,400 yards and 14 out of George Pickens. 951 and 7 out of Nico. In just, I think, what was it, eight games with us? Drake Leonard puts up 685 and 7. Prime Youth, we need some more production out of you, man. And get them sixes out of here. What? <laughs> Defensively. Boom. Wow. TJ Watt with 15 and a half sacks. Obviously expected. But Alex Highsmith with 14. Cam Hayward only had seven. But hey, it is what it is. Four out of Minka Fitzpatrick interception-wise, three out of Akuda, two out of Joey Porter, one out of Holcomb, and one out of Bryce Hall. So I'm going to take that. Kenny Pickett comes in at number nine for MVP. Najee should have finished. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. A lot of with that. And then Defensive Player of the Year, TJ Watt does take that home. Alex Highsmith does come in at number six. We'll take that. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we only had that whole lineman, but he does come in at number ten. Okay. And then for Defensive Player of the Year, or Rookie of the Year, our strong safety that we moved over to free safety didn't even come out of place. But all right, guys, we're taking on the Texans here in round number one. Is Nico Collins going to get revenge? I do see that they signed Josh Allen. It's kind of a big deal. And we win 14-9. to We'll definitely take that. But now we got to take on the 15-2 Kansas City Chiefs here in the Divisional. Are they too much for us? Yes, they are, as we lose 27-7. to That sucked, but hey, it is what it is. We at least make it to the divisional, so we're at least winning games. So, let's improve the team a little bit more and come back in year number three. All right, guys, so here in the offseason, obviously we're going to take Drake London's option. Same thing with Kenny Pickett, as he does go up to Superstar, as I see here. 
Um, James Daniels does look like he wants to come back now, but off in the same contract. He does. That's a pretty cheap deal, in my opinion. You know what, Cam Hayward? If you want to come back, that's not a lot of money that you're asking for, so we'll take you back for another year. Um, I'm going to let both these guys walk. Same thing with Mason Cole. Same thing with Landon Roberts. Yeah, everybody else can just kind of go on about their day. We do have 60 million cap room, though. You know what that means? Oh, if any of you guys watch Rebuilds, you should know what that means. Jeremiah owusu Koromoa. Let's take a look at the roster though, before we get into free agency. Hopefully he is there. Sometimes here lately he hasn't been, though, so it's kind of disappointing. So, Kenny Pickett does go up to Superstar. George Pickens does get an X-Factor, so we'll 100% take that. Um, and then defensively, Minka gets an X-Factor. I'm really surprised Holcomb is not getting any sort of dev trade upgrade. Same with Highsmith. Super disappointing. Okuda does go up to Star, so our corners have really improved. I think our next focus is definitely just D-line, left end, and defensive tackle. Everywhere else, we're pretty well set. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then obviously right tackle. But that's it, guys. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So here in free agency so far, I did bring in Khalil Mack. The plan with Mack is to possibly, not guaranteed, move him to one of the end spots and just kind of let him just be a pure pass rusher. You see how cheap he was. Obviously, still has his X factor, which is very surprising. We'll see what he wants to do. We also brought in Osa. Don't even ask me to pronounce the rest of his name. To be our new defensive tackle. He's 27 years old. For the remainder of the rebuild, he's definitely going to keep his stuff. I know that we did go after somebody else. We did not get. Are we. No, Zadarius Smith walked on us. That sucks. But I guess Khalil Mack could play there. So I'm not too mad about it. Manuel Agba, I wouldn't be opposed to it if he wasn't only a 75. But in all reality, we might just see what we can get out of the draft. Joss Uche. <laughs> I can't believe this guy thinks he's worth 15 mil. Alright guys, I think that's all I'm going to do for free agency here. So, let's get right into it. Let's see what the draft gives us. Alright guys, and then here with our first first round pick, we're going to take Michael Forbes. Hidden dev trait, right tackle. Doesn't look like he'll be too high of an overall, but right now we have like some 66 overall guy, so having a star there will be huge. Alright guys, so Michael Forbes is a huge hit, <laughs> 77 overall. And then Dennis Cole, one of the other guys I drafted, he is a 73 overall, so not great, but also not terrible I guess, but that right tackle is huge for us. So let's get right into year number three. Alright guys, so here at the contract negotiation period, obviously George Pickens is a guy that we're 100% going to want to bring back. Same thing with TJ Watt. Boom, he does want to come back. That's awesome. Najee Harris as well. Can we go 3 for 3? Three? We can go 3 for 3. Cole Holcomb, unfortunately, is probably going to have to go. But that's it. I'm not too mad about Cole Holcomb leaving. Obviously, he performs very well, but we could probably get a middle linebacker that'll perform pretty similar. We are kind of having a disappointing season so far, but hopefully we fix that. So a very disappointing finish to year number three as we go 7-10 and ten and miss the playoffs. What happened? Stat-wise, we took a big drop-off. 17th in offense. Our defense was fine. Kenny Pickett didn't have a terrible year. Nashi had a great year. Receiving-wise, 2,000-yard receivers. Drake London was squeaking there. For our means, still very disappointing. Offensively, didn't do too bad. 11.5 sacks out of TJ. 11.5 Alex Highsmith. 9 out of Khalil Mack. 7.5 out of Osa. 5.5 out of Cam Hayward. Two picks out of... I mean, that's where we fell off. Not great on pick-wise. Obviously, no one's going to get there. So... Yeah, that's very disappointing. But, nowhere to go but from here, hopefully. Let's get to the offseason and fix it for the last year. All right, guys. So, going into the draft, Highsmith does go up to a superstar. Far goes up to a superstar. Um, aside from that, we've only lost Cam Hayward, so we're going to have to replace him. We don't have any money to draft or sign somebody, but we do obviously have two first-round draft picks. 
then I guess our left guard retired, so I'll have to replace that. So left guard and hand. That's it. And hopefully this team can get us a ring. Alright guys, somehow this first round pick will get us Greg Rousseau. So that completely solves our left end problem. And I guess for our other first round pick, the Bucks are just wanting to let go of Vita Vea. So we're going to trade for him. Alright guys, so I just realized that I went through and made a ton of trades. Traded a bunch of my picks away, obviously. Um, something that I find very entertaining, something that's unique for my rebuilds, and I didn't record a damn bit of it. So, I'm going to show you right now. We traded for Jordan Malata, traded like two firsts for him, I believe. And then defensively, don't jump out of your seats now. But we picked up Tredavious White for a first round pick. Um, obviously, cap hits are becoming very big, so a lot of teams are trying to shed some people. Vita Vea and Greg Rousseau. So, a couple huge signings. Obviously, it led to us being 14 and 3. Yep, 14 and 3, and take the division. So, let's look at the stats and hopefully get a ring, guys. Second best offense has a huge bounce back from last season. And then the best defense, kind of expected it. You saw him. Kenny Pickett had a great year. Najee Harris had a great year. Okay. Man, I'm really disappointed for our immune. I was expecting a lot more. All right, and then defensively, TJ Watt with 18 sacks, 12 and a half out of Rousseau, eight and a half out of Highsmith, seven out of Khalil Mack, five out of Vita Vea. Okay, okay. Interception wise, Joey Porter Jr. with three, Drew Davies White with three, Okariki with two, Mika Fitzpatrick with two. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. I do expect TJ Watt to get Defensive Player of the Year. Wow, you're telling me, man, that's that's highway robbery. Can you pick it even coming in the top 10? Offensive player of the year. Nacho Harris comes in at number 4. Pickens comes in at number 8. Oh, no, I don't see the MC. Defensive player of the year. Man, TJ Watt came in at number 3. And then Rousseau come in at number 7. That sucks. But hey. The only thing that matters to me is if we win a ring. That's what I want. So let's see if we can do it. Who are we going to take on in round 1? Or I guess the divisional round. Not round 1. Round 2. Ooh, the Ravens. Can we take them out? I hope so. Division rival. Oh my gosh, guys. A 92 overall squad doesn't even get to get through the Ravens. That's crazy. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, my bad for messing up all those trades. I feel so stupid. I guess you live and you learn, right? But if you guys did enjoy that video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what team you want to see me rebuild next. Or, if you don't want to see a team rebuild and you want to see more of a challenge, comment some challenges, guys. Comment some challenges, guys. Just let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll make it happen. Hope you guys take it easy. Stay safe out there. I know it is pretty icy and very cold in a lot of places. Don't go outside without being bottled up, kids. <laughs>